Hyper carries are characters that deal the bulk of the damage from a team, and have teammates that are mostly only there to support them. Considering how teams in Genshin work, this is exactly the reason why I think that being a hyper carry poses a big problem for a character, and here is why. A hyper carry is essentially a character that deals almost all of the damage of the team, while having supports whose sole purpose is to, well, support them. Such examples of this are Ito, Xiao, and recently Sino. However, some might ask what the problem of hyper carries could be. First, it's because of how Genshin combat primarily work. To be considered a good team in this game, each character must have synergy with one another. However, by prioritizing the needs of said hyper carry, there are only limited characters to choose from to support them. And this is their primary problem. They either live or die depending on other characters. One example of this is Ito. His team normally consists of Guro, Albedo, Zhongli, and Dingguang. The problem to this is that because of his element being Geo and have defense scaling damage, supports such as Bennett and Seng Cho are not suggested to be paired with him. Xiao also has a similar problem, but to a less extent, with him needing an Anemo battery in order to charge his ability, and a healer due to his burst draining his health. There is an outlier though, which I will talk about further in the video. Because of the nature of a hyper carry, wherein most of the damage comes from them, if they themselves do not have good enough stats or existing characters that fit well with their kit, other DPS characters will outdamage them in most scenarios. I will take Sino for this example as he is the latest hyper carry in the game. Sino has average stats in the C0 R1 perspective. By this alone, this makes him an okay but not broken character. His capabilities are fallen short however due to the support he currently has. Fischl, Dendro Traveler, Zhongli, and Kazua are his usual teammates. However, due to his burst being longer than their skills, players are either forced to cut off his burst or keep using it but dealing less damage. So in order to further his capabilities, there should be a support character that makes up for his shortcomings. This problem can also be seen with other hyper carries. Without specific supports and being the main damage dealer in the team, their potential will be wasted. Sino and Kitching's comparison is the perfect example I can give to this next point, so let's start with that. With the arrival of Dendro, Electro teams have been greatly improved with Aggravate, and this is why I want to compare Kaching's and Sino's teams. Both almost have the same characters in their team, but there is one significant difference to their kit, which is Sino is a greedy main DPS while Kaching is not. Based on Sino's burst, you essentially would want to stay on field with him during the entirety of his burst, which is too long. This poses a very big problem for your other teammates as their off-field support would run out even before Sino's duration would stop. This results in not maximizing the damage from reactions or not using the entirety of Sino's burst. Catching, on the other hand, essentially does not have a problem like this. Due to her short burst duration, your gameplay would be to keep swapping to other characters. This ensures that your whole team could maximize their potential in a faster time frame. This problem of Sino is also reflected by other hyper carries such as Ito and Xiao, but to a lesser extent. Thankfully though, their bursts are shorter than Sino's, so that means you could swap to other characters faster. As I stated earlier in the video, there is an outlier to this hyper carry problem, and that character is none other than Raiden Shogun. Even when she is in a hyper carry team, she ultimately lacks the problem that other characters have. This is because she has so many uses that she essentially becomes her own support. While most hyper carries need a battery, Raiden batteries her own burst plus the whole teams. She also does not limit herself with characters as you don't really need niche kits just for her to work. She's actually so good that in a way, even as the hyper carry, she also serves as the support for her support. Basically, when it comes to Raiden, just ignore everything that I have previously said in this video. Just like any other character though, 
she is good and she will probably be one of the best characters to have on your account. However, she still is not a must pull. I strongly live by the idea that no character in the game should force you to get them no matter how good. Being a hyper carry does pose a big problem in this game. I just hope the devs find a way to fix these issues without pressuring players in getting certain characters. I personally don't know how this can be fixed, but hey, a streamer once said, you don't need to be a chef to know when food is bad. If you guys have any idea how to fix them though, be sure to comment them down below. This is Tashmi, like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.